Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we're back with another Total War Warhammer video. So many people were quite sad when a certain Thunder Barge was not included in the Dwarf rework. And yeah, I would be too. But then again, you can always expect the modding community to bring in stuff that Creative Assembly don't seem to want to add in. Released just a few hours ago, we have the Thunder Barge, an absolutely massive behemoth from the 8th edition rulebook of Warhammer Fantasy Battle. And yeah, I mean, look at it. It's absolutely impressive, able to do a decent amount of damage very quickly. And well, I mean, it's just a giant flying cannon, isn't it? It's absolutely awesome. So with this mod, you'll be able to get the Thunder Barge as a recruitable unit, of course, a Regiment of Renown version too, and of course, the Slayer Engineer himself, Malachi, a very requested character who's able to dish out quite a lot of damage and has his own unique Thunder Barge mount, because, you know, why not? But before anything, it will take a while to be able to recruit Thunder Barges into your armies, as you will need a Tier 5 Settlement and the third tier of the Engineer's Guild Hall. This is where it's all focused around the barge itself, which is, by the way, under a unit capacity too. Of course, focusing on growth buildings will get you there a lot faster, and it's not too much of an issue if you're playing in Karaza Karak, given the fact that you've got quite the decent location there too. As you can see on screen, you'll be able to get the quest in your campaigns to recruit Malachi very early into your campaign. Simply send the character to the specific location and you're pretty much sorted, and it's just that simple prerequisite, and then he'll spawn pretty much right next to your faction leader. Now, stat-wise, he's pretty good, can deal a lot of damage, he's also got a ranged weapon too, too. a lot of armor for a Slayer, which is rather curious, but other than that, I'd say that he's pretty well statted up, and the 180 range is absolutely wonderful, especially if you're going to be focusing around range builds, because, well, you're a dwarf, you will probably be focusing around range. Skill-wise, he's pretty much a Master Engineer, as expected, because he is a Master Engineer. So, you're going to get a lot of different buffs from this character, being able to focus around range combat and so on. You will be able to unlock the Spirit of Grungi mount at level 20, and there's something quite important to note here, I'm not sure if this Will get fixed in the future, but it looks like Malachi does not have the immortality trait and the skill itself is locked until level 20, so keep in mind that he can die. I'm expecting this has been done intentionally because he's a slayer after all, but he's quite powerful and yeah, I don't think you're going to want to miss that. So yeah, keep him alive. He will also have his own character trait known as Slayer Engineer, which confers the following bonuses. Bonus versus large, plus 5 for Slayer units in the hero's army, and research rate plus 10%. Which could be rather useful to speed up the process of getting all the growth research to then unlock further Thunder Barges. The models themselves are absolutely impressive, single entity units which are absolutely massive airships, and you know, these types of things are usually quite imposing on the battlefield. It looks like only the front cannon can fire and the side ones are purely decorative, who knows if anything changes in the future to be able to change that up, but until then it still does a lot of damage, and I mean, I mean look, it's massive, yeah? 440 range as a cannon, then it causes terror and it's unbreakable. I mean, this thing is going to be a staple in armies without a problem. This is something that the dwarves desperately needed, and if you want to try them out yourself, I am going to put a link to it in the description below, because, I mean, it's it's just so cool. I've been looking at it non-stop. It's, it's just awesome. Have fun with it, guys, because I'm about to boot up a dwarf campaign for myself at this very moment. 